Today, we went from this to this, but it wasn't easy. <laughs> So I'm using my mom's blow dryer oh. to dry all this off. <laughs> the manifold is done, it looks great. However, when we go to this valve cover, it's oh. all right. Went too strong on the can and it started dripping on the side. It's been a whole day now and it turned out like this, not completely wrinkled. So in the last video, I wasn't able to put this mount on due to it being a different bracket. This has only two, this has three. Should just work just fine. And as you can see, the gap is a lot different. These wires right here, this wire right here, it runs throughout the whole engine bay across here. And so what I do is take off the fender and reroute it through here. So that way it's a lot cleaner. Right, so now I'm putting Tesla tape on this whole wiring harness since I'm tucking, it just controls the lighting and the AC. Normally stuck, it runs inside and it loops through here, which makes it kind of messy. So I'm looping it outside just to make it tuck. So when I put the fender over, it's going to be nice and clean. We are going to finish it off by shaving. I know it's not the best, but hey, we still need to get this on either way. I just shaved the littering. Looks 10 times better. Honestly, just probably buy one that's already wrinkled. For now, they'll do the job and it definitely looks better than what it was. A new valve cover gasket just to make sure this 100% doesn't leak all the rings out. Now it's time to put in these new bad boys. So I'm trying to finish up this valve adjustment. Already did cylinder one and cylinder three. We do the exhaust side. I'm measuring at 0.25 millimeters. I just did this side, it clears. Before it was a little too tight, so now it has some free room. 0.2 millimeters, and that is for the intake side. And as you can see, it's clearing just fine. Over time, it gets super tight. Long story short, this helps performance and MPG. Honda Day is coming soon, and I need a ride to the airport, and literally, this is my daily driver, so I need to get this back on the road. All right, last time I left off last night, my camera died, and I was only able to film some of the wire tuck. As you can see, the only wires is for the headlight housing. I am gonna fix this a little bit, but I just left it loose for now. But before, like I said, the wire was literally lined up through this tower and then leads back all the way back to the battery. So it looks a lot cleaner now on this side and for sure this side too. The only wires that are showing is the wires for the headlight itself, but I don't think I'm gonna trip too much about that. I still haven't hooked this up yet. It's still dangling, I still need to hook it up onto this radiator support right here. And actually, I could shh. No, it's too dark. It looks a lot cleaner on the sides now. Now the really only thing is, is just to clean up the harness in the back. And then once the manifold's on, everything should be pretty clean after that. The gasket broke on this IAC valve. Without that gasket on, literally I can't put on this manifold right here, which means I can't get this thing started. I am just gonna clean up some of this wiring right here. It is a little bit messy and a little bit dirty just from oil leaking onto it. One day later, we finally finished the wiring. It's not the cleanest, but I rewrapped every, every piece of the wiring. Open this up. Should be the last few gaskets. Put the manifold back on and uh, we should be able to see this in one piece. Oh! I've extended those. They were too short before, so I extended them with my old harness. The Civic hasn't been started up in a while, so cross your fingers that it will start out. As soon as I thought everything was going well, yeah, it, it didn't go well. As soon as I revved it, it literally started surging. Working seven hours on this damn thing, just, just to get the manifold on, rewire a couple wires, 
rewrap them, make sure every ground is clean. It is literally taking more labor than I thought. I, I have no idea, I don't even know what to say. All right guys, this has been going on for too long. I started March 30th, today's April 8th. If you do the math, that's been 10 days. I finally cranked all the issues, so let me show you guys. Win, 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 win. All I know is win, 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 win. It has finally come to where it needs to come. I am done with labor. I'm seriously done. Hooked in the headlight harness that attached to these two headlights. Updated the engine mounts from here. And you can definitely see here, they're brand new. Rewired the harness. Still need to wrap this harness a little bit better, but it definitely is a lot cleaner than it was. Skunk 2 is no longer silver. It's black now. A lot of the hoses, like this one, and this one were definitely cracked, so it was leaking like hella power steering. I'm no professional by any means, but I think I'm pretty proud of myself with the gaskets and the paint and everything. Probably spent around like 150 at most. Some things I didn't film on camera, like for example this, the fan wasn't working, so I had to figure out how to wire it up. Uh, the valve adjustment, I don't think I did the best at it, so I think I might have to redo it. The fan wouldn't turn on, so literally the car would overheat. As you guys saw earlier, the car was like revving on its own, and that was due to, I believe, I just didn't bleed the system enough. I finally fixed that. So everything literally runs and drives as it should. It's definitely not the cleanest, but it is damn well cleaner than it was before. I mean, look at the before and afters. I mean, come on, man. Like, it just looks so much better. 